Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rechachadosh. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone for teaching me this truth. And peace and salutations to all the Akiyam out there kicking his word in truth and sincerity. Now it's heating up. About to enter some very dangerous times. We got World War III knocking on our door with the trade war escalating between the U.S. and China. We see that going on. We also see civil war about to kick off. We got the shootings escalating. And uh, I'm about to do a video uh, on this uh, Edomite who's actually talking about the the civil war escalating what he sees lord willing I'll, i'm going to do that video so as we go into these times we got to you know, keep that faith and make sure we have that the hedge of protection against us uh, to to protect us you know if it's the lord's will for us to be protected through this so one of the ways that we will be protected in these times is uh, with the, the wisdom and knowledge of this truth that we have here. Like the scripture says, it'll be the stability of our times. Uh, let me pull that scripture up here. Bear with me. I know it's uh, Isaiah 24 and 11. <clears throat> Slakia, that's that's not right. Uh, it's Isaiah thirty-three and six. It says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure." And what we get from this wisdom and knowledge is the ability uh, to be discreet, to make good judgments in these times that are coming up. Uh, it will give us uh, discretion, good judgment, and understanding. And uh, I have a precept here to back that up. This is a Proverbs, Proverbs 2 and 11. Proverbs 2 and 11, and it says, Discretion shall preserve thee, and understanding shall keep thee. So discretion will give us, basically it allows you to, to make good judgments. And understanding will keep thee, will keep thee safe and unharmed. Because it's the wisdom of this truth, wisdom and knowledge of this truth that's going to protect us, not money, not weapons, not food stores, none of that stuff. I mean, it, it, it'd be nice to have food, but what we're relying on is the is our faith and our trust in Yahweh Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai. So Get that knowledge, wisdom, and continue to throw out prayers. And uh, I will um, actually will share a prayer with you, Akiam and Akwath out there, that you can throw up to keep that hedge, that hedge protecting you. All right, here's the prayer. I'll go over it in the Hebrew first and and then in the English. And I'll jump into the precepts at the end here and call it a wrap. So in the Hebrew, Yahayawa, Amothka, Tazanaya, 
Wasa Haraha. Again, that's Yahayawa Amathka Tazanaya Wasa Raslakia Wasa Haraha. And in the English, Yahayawa, let it be. Amathka, thy truth. Tazana ya, my shield. Wa saharaha, and buckler. And this is based off of these uh, precepts here. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the blue letter. All right, Proverbs 30 and 5, and it says, Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. And it's based off of that. And then the other precept here is Psalms 119 and 114. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I, I hope in thy word. And this word, this truth, from Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, is our protection. This is our hedge. Hedge against violence. Hedge against all sorts of attacks whether they be spiritual, physical. And from this, this word, we get the truth, we get wisdom, we get knowledge and understanding. And we're to rely on that coming up in, into these dark times. So that's it. Just wanted to share this. I hope it was edifying. I pray that it was edifying for Yaki out there. Shalom.